Right, fuckers, welcome back to the channel. I've been a bit inactive for the last three or four days, and a lot of stuff has happened, especially in FIFA, man, with Roma coming back, shocking Barcelona with Juventus getting Real Madrid game back to three each. And then they got robbed uh, in the last minute. Buffon going mental, getting sent off. Uh, not so much has happened in Scottish football. We have had the, the split fixtures announced. I might make a video on that. A lot of Rangers fans have been complaining, but in reality, I don't understand what they can complain about. They've already played the top five teams, or the top six teams, um, twice at home, and they seem to be unhappy about the fact that they were given two home ties against the teams in fifth and sixth place. Well, it really it wouldn't be fair if Rangers were given three home ties against Aberdeen or Hibs especially, considering they're competing against those two teams for spots in Europe. So, I, mean, I just don't understand where Rangers are coming from. Yeah, I know you can say that yeah, it's not fair that we're getting the, you know, the, the lowest two teams for the split, but at the same time, you shouldn't be getting any of the teams. So, And it's not as if they're going to play three old firm games at Rangers and only one at Celtic. They're not going to do that. That was always going to be split 2-2. Two two. And then it wouldn't be fair to, you know, screw over Hibs or Aberdeen who are battling with Rangers for second and third. So, I think they did... I like the split, albeit I think at times like this it shows that the split is, you know, perhaps not right, could do, the rules could do of getting tweaked or whatever, but I think they've done the best possible outcome they could have with the fixture list, I think that's the best they could have did. Uh, it means Rangers get to play 19 home games, 19 away games, and against the top teams that they're battling with, they're playing two away, two at home, so, you know, I think, I think the SP, I think the, uh, Scottish Football Association, the SFA, I think they got it right for a change, so yeah, I might make a video on that, I might not, maybe I've just covered my thoughts there in the opening two minutes. Anyway, we're back with another uh, video, Football Manager, Scottish Football in five years. Today we're going to be covering Queen's Park, now Queen's Park's an interesting one. Yeah, they play at the National Stadium, Hamden Park, so you'd think they have a, a really good opportunity to actually grow and become successful in trying you know, get into the top flight of Scottish football. But whether they can attract the fans or not, we'll have to wait and see. Reputation is one star. Professional status is amateur. Founded in 1867, nicknamed the Spiders. Squad personality is fairly ambitious. They have rivalries with Clyde, Albion Rovers and Partick. Thistle finances are secure. Owner status, enjoying life at the club. Average ticket price, 10 quid. 108 we got. That's the problem. 183 season ticket holders when they can hold over 50,000, you know? So, I mean, if they could capitalise on the capacity of the stadium, Queen's Park could do really fucking well. But at the moment, they've only got 183 season ticket holders. So, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not expecting them to do well here. Let's go on to the first season. Okay, as for transfers regarding Queen's Park, I don't think I'm going to bother showing you every single year because let's be, they're not spending any money and their players aren't worth nothing. So it's basically just every season they're letting players go on freeze and they're bringing players in on freeze. And that is it. So they can see everyone is a free transfer. They don't have the money and they don't have anybody that's worth any money. So I probably that's probably the only time I'm going to show you the transfer in this video. And to be honest, I don't even know if these guys are any good. What's the point of looking at who they brought in if we don't? We've got these two guys, Brian Hodge and Adam Hodge, could be brothers. Uh, I'm looking at these guys, and again, like nothing. Their stats are terrible, so we'll just get stuck straight in to see how they got on in their first season in the league. All right, well, first season didn't go as planned for Queen's Park. I was talking about how their potential to go up and try and get into the top flight of Scottish football. Well, they haven't done that. They've got relegated. 24 points from 36 games, 29 goals for, 64 against, giving them a minus goal difference of 35, and yeah, they were pretty poor, finishing 8 places behind Albion Rovers, and what's that, 17 behind, no, 15, sorry, behind Arbroath, so definitely a season to forget. Looks like they didn't have much more success in the Betfred Cup, failed to get out of the group stage. Iron Brew Cup, they lost in the earliest round possible for them. At home, 2-1 against Ayr. How did they get on in the Scottish Cup? Oh, they actually beat Forfar in the third round. That's a pretty good win. The goal coming for Dominic Doherty. Uh, what? So it must be weird playing at Hamden if they actually get to the Cup Finals. They're still playing at Hamden, albeit they're used to playing in front of 
like a couple hundred people. Whereas if they get to a Scottish Cup final, you can probably guarantee it's going to be all more or less sold out. Uh, whether they can sell their allocation is debatable, but I think if Queen's Park got to the final, I don't think they'd be get if they got to the final way, let's say Celtic, I don't think they'd be given a 50-50 share of uh, the seating. But I could be wrong, man. I'm not quite sure how it works. Fourth round, Scottish Cup journey comes to an end. A 3-0 defeat at home against Mullerwell. The goals for Chris Caden twice and Ryan Bowman sending Queen's Park out of the competition. Right, well that's it for Season 1. Let's see how they got on now in Season 2. But look at that. Look at that four man towards the end. Terrible and that pretty much explains why they got relegated. Another season and another season of disappointment for Queen's Park. This time finishing ninth in League 2, narrowly avoiding relegation. Look at that, Clyde there getting relegated just by goal difference. Both finished on the same amount of points, but Queen's Park were four goals better off on the goal difference. So very lucky they are not to be getting relegated to what would that be, the Highland League, is it? So there you go, Clyde are gone from the um, Scottish football, the S, uh, Scottish, what's it, the SF, Pre Scottish football, Premier League. So there you go, man. Clyde are gone. Queen's Park managed to survive. They've stayed in ninth place. And, uh, well, <laughs> thought they did bad last year in the Betfair Cup. Look at that. This time, man, they lost every single group game against Brecon, Stenners, Muir, Hamilton, and Dundee United. Definitely not a good cup run there. Iron Brew Cup, though, they did seem to do slightly better this time. They beat Albion Rovers away. Goal come for Connor McFay, which was a good win. And then they beat St. Johnston's under-20s at home. Goals come for Billy Mortimer, Adam Hodge and Connor Quigley. So much better run this time around in the Iron Brew Cup before losing in the fourth round to Inverness, being sanking by goals for George Oakley and Kevin Nisbet. Scottish Cup round two lost to East Kilbride. That is a bad loss. Losing to East Kilbride. Jim Clarkson and Kieran Gibbons putting East Kilbride through, but Queen's Park must be massively disappointed with that result. And then you can see it was actually a win on the last day of the season. So they're lucky their form actually, form actually picked up a bit here. Or else they would have been relegated into the Highland League. So uh, yeah, poor Clyde, they're gone. Queen's Park remain. Let's see how they got on though in Season 3. Another shit season for Queen's Park. Finishing ninth again, but this time they did have a little bit more breathing gap between them and the team in 10th place. It was Cove Rangers who were relegated. They just came up for the Highland League and they're going straight back to the Highland League. So... I think this proves that once you go down to the Highland League, it might be hard to get back up, you know. You just Maybe the difference between League 2 and the Highland League, could there could be a big quality difference. We'll have to wait and see. But there you go, Queen's Park finishing ninth again. Not where they want to be, not where I'd expect them to be. Very interesting. I thought they would have, at worst, like remain in League 1, if not go up to the Championship. And it was more disappointment in the Cup. Bet Fred Cup, they did manage one win against Parkhead. But lost to Kilmarnock, Partick Fitz and Queen of the South, Iron Brew, first cup, uh, Iron Brew Cup first round, should I say. Lost to the Rangers under-20s, Jordan Griffiths late, getting both goals for them. Billy Edwards' goal was cancelled out. Scottish Cup second round, beat Fort Main United, who are absolute shite. Scottish Cup third round, final win against Annan Athletic. That's better from Queen's Park. How far can they go here? Not very far, they got beat against Morton 6-0 in the fourth round and again then see their form seems to pick up towards the end of the season you know like look at that the last five games two wins two draws so maybe Queen's Park are having to just perform right at the end just to secure their position in the top flight right let's move on to season four holy crap right man for the third consecutive season they finished ninth again eight points above the relegation so and so they're not quite on the verge of being relegated, but let's be honest, they are down the bottom, they're nowhere near getting promoted. Three years of ninth place finishes, even Clyde, who just came back up for the Highland League, finished five points in front of Queen's Park, so, you know, that's disappointing for sure, they'll need, they'll need to fix that. Again, another poor performance in the Betfred Cup, yet to get out of the Betfred Cup group from Queen's Park, you'd think they'd have maybe did better in four attempts. Iron Brew Cup knocked out in the first round against Hamilton under-20s, Scottish Cup second round, Preston Athletic. What the fuck? That's not England's Preston Athletic, can it be? No, it must be a Scottish one for the lower league. So yeah, they got a 2-2 draw at home, which is very poor. Did manage to beat them in the second uh, leg, the replay, 1-1 on penalties. 
and then they lost to Inverness in the second, third cup, uh, third round of the Scottish Cup, 2 0 at home. So like, there's just nothing here for Queen's Park, man. Shit league, ninth, ninth every season. And then the cup runs, there, well, there's no cup runs, they're virtually non existent. They're maybe winning the odd game, but they're just not doing anything. So it must be uh, tough being a Queen's Park fan at this stage of the game. Right, we'll move on to the final and fifth season here. Again, this is going to be a quick video, quicker than the rest. There's not a lot, there's no point in me showing you the transfers because, you know, it's, it's just a bunch of jobbers, a bunch of unknown people going for their money, switching between free transfers. Right, so can Queen's Park stay in the division and, and try and get higher up the league? Let's see. No, they can't. Holy shit, Queen's Park have been relegated, so they'll be now playing their football in the Highland League. Very disappointing for them. I remember in the second season they managed to survive relegation by goal difference. This time they've been relegated by goal difference. Just the one goal. Look at that. Minus 17 for Queen's Park on goal difference. At minus 16 for Berwick. So one little goal sell, uh, separating both teams. And that that is incredibly unlucky there for Queen's Park. Um, let's see how they got on in their season. Well, they did much better in the Betfred Cup. They actually won two games. One against Montrose. One against Forfar. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get them into the knockout stage, but definitely an improvement in the Betfred Cup. Iron Brew Cup lost again the first round to St. Johnson under 20s. Fucking hell, they couldn't even get past Linlith Go Rose in the Scottish Cup. Who the hell is this team? Linlith Go, Linlith Go Rose. Never heard of them, guys. Is this even a real team? It's fucking such a weird name. Let me know down below if that is a real team. Linlith Go Rose. Holy shit. So got knocked out of the Scottish Cup at Hamden by them. Such a shocking performance. Shocking result. And then you see poor form. Again, the form almost picked up. They won their last two league games. But it wasn't enough. As they could have just got one more goal. They would have stayed in the division. But they didn't get it. And it meant they finished last. And then they lost the playoff place to our broth. So... Not good there for Queen's Park. After five years, they are now relegated to the Highland League. In terms of their squad, let's have a quick look at what the current squad looks like. Again, I mean, I don't even know what we're looking for here. The players are worth absolutely nothing. Look at that. Everyone's worth nothing. Uh, at least this guy's got a face. I mean, he's probably played for someone relative. Uh, yeah, he used to play for Celtic. Never played a game in the Ladbrokes Premiership for them, but... Must have been there as like a youth player or something. Then he played for Aloha and Furness. But again, he's not really did anything his whole career. So that might be the best player they have. Ryan Conroy. We'll have a quick look at this guy. He's 35. What's his history like? He's played for Dundee, Queen of South, Airdrie. So again, just not... These players are just... They're all shite really, basically. It's bums off the street, basically, playing football. And that is why Queen's Park got relegated. I'll have a quick look at the any affiliated clubs. Have they managed to do that? Let's find out. Um, nope, they haven't. So nothing there. Profile. Captain. Current captain is Barry Cudley. Face captain Scott Boyd. Sponsored by Iron Brew. Ah, man. So there you go. Um, just very poor five years there. You see it all started in this first season when they got relegated and then you know, a big massive drop down to 9th place in League 2 where they managed to maintain that for 3 years before finally getting relegated out of the league structure. So there you go man, there's Queen's Park. I think, I don't know, I think it's strange. Queen's Park have a lot of potential. You know, if you do a career mode, if you do a football manager series on them, I think there's potential there to do well. But obviously, this 5 years, they've went... Way, 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 way backwards, man. And uh, I don't know. I'll be interested to see if they come up. I will check them out again when I do the um, 10 years and down the line. We'll advance another five years and we'll check them in a separate video in the future. But I'll be interested to see if they come back up. Based on how their performance has stuck right at the bottom of the leagues, I don't think it's going to happen. But anyway, guys, there you go. There is the Football Manager 2018, Queen's Park in five years. Uh, let me know who you want me to do next. Hopefully, if it's a better team. I can do a more in-depth review of them. And until next time, peace.